cool kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say no no. What is up, people? Showing up the king here, back with another video, and today I'm bringing you my review for the GT Dyson Toys uh, Korosaki Ichigo Hollow Inner World form. Uh, if you guys don't know already, I have been bringing uh, quality reviews for this series thus far. First, I bought you guys the uh, GT Toys uh, regular Korosaki Ichigo. And then uh, about three weeks ago, I did the uh, GT Toys uh, Bankai version of Ichigo. And now, just today, I have received in the mail the hollow inner world form of Ichigo. And today I'll be reviewing him for you guys. So uh, let's get started. Now the packaging on this does look very similar. And honestly, this was a key opportunity for uh, Dyson to just go ahead and redo the, uh, the form. But they actually decided to go against that. And not only do we have his Sheikah blade, we also have his Bankai blade. And it looks like we have a change of clothes for Shika and Bankai. So I actually do give uh, them a lot of credit for including the outfits for both versions plus the weapons for both versions because they could have easily had come out and just given us the Shika version and then try to double back later and do the Bankai version. So great job on that. Now, we don't have any hollow mask on here because obviously he never used the hollow mask in the show, so we don't need that. And this is basically the inner world Ichigo, so he should just be a, a mirror image of what Ichigo looks like from the actual show. So, I'm going to... Alright, so here we have the Ichigo out of the packaging, and uh, he looks amazing. Uh, again... I have been recently re-watching uh, the Bleach show because, you know, we just got word that they're going to be redoing the, not redoing, they're actually going to go back and do the Thousand Year Blood War arc for Bleach. And I am like super, super excited to finally have an opportunity to uh, see that animated. Hopefully they'll add on to the actual saga and not actually do a, a, a one for one retelling. Um, they have a lot of room to grow with that arc, I believe. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at Ichigo close up. And I am loving this figure. I love the pale white skin that it matches just from the actual show. If you see here close up, you can see that his eyes, the pupils are black and the eyes themselves are uh, yellow with a tinge of black in the middle, just like it is in the show. Now I will say his hair in the show is uh, jet white. This is more of a white slash gray tone, but it still does look pretty good. So I'm not going to dock any points for that. The gi itself, it matches. Now I know um, I had made a, um, I made a, a, talk, a talking point about it before where actually Ichigo's Bankai, his, his Bankai on the inside is actually red. And it should be black on the outside and red on the inside. And this is just black. So I told you that was kind of inaccurate. And on this one, it's white on the outside and still black on the inside, as you can see here. Now, one thing that I do want to mention, and I think that uh, uh, Dyson could have done better, is I think they could have gotten his flaps on his Bankai a little bit longer. Because I know in the show... It varies between uh, long and flat, and uh, basically his actual gi is actually a extension of his actual Bankai. And again, I really wish that they would enlarge the sword because, again, Ichigo's Bankai is very, very long. All right. So we'll go ahead and put him back here. Hopefully he won't fall. You won't fall on me, will you, Ichigo? There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and put him down for a second and take a look at these accessories. And again, here is the Bankai, completely white versus Ichigo's, which is completely black. Looks good. 
And then again, we get another sheath version. And again, I think I discussed this in my last video that Ichigo does not have a sheath for his Bankai. And I have confirmed that he does not have a sheath, but it is kind of cool that they added it. And if you pull it out, you can see that much of the sword is there. And let's see here. Here we have his Shigai blade. And let's just bring over the blade from the other one. And they nailed it because it's supposed to be a mirror image. And as you can see, it is on his original Shigai. The top of the blade is black, while the actual um, sharp edge of the blade itself is the silver. And on here, it is reverse, where the actual flat side of the blade is silver, while the sharp edge of the blade is black. So fantastic. And again, we have the handle, which is black as well. And we have the the wrapping in the black versus in the white. So they nailed it on that part as well. All right. He also comes with multiple heads. Let's see if we can get that. So we got head number, face number one. Kind of like a smirking face. Yeah, phase number two. Again, kind of smirking, but this time we're showing some gritted teeth. And phase number three, we have the serious stern face. And that looks good as well. And then we have the standard face that he comes with. Kind of smirking. Again. It could have been nice if they had like a screaming face. But, and again, we got the hands. Then they're done. I got the t-shirt. Now, underneath, I believe, is his Shika outfit. Yep. So underneath is the same standard stand that it comes with. I don't ever use it, but it's here if you want it. And then underneath here, we have his Shikai outfit. We have the uh, ceremonial beads that go around his waist. And we have the gi. Now, what I'm guessing is, is that did they go the cheap route and then they only gave you the top and the bottom stays the same? Yeah, that's what he did. Okay, and I guess that is fine because the only thing that does change is his, his bankai. So it looks like they just gave you an extra shirt. The bottom stays the same, which is fine. All right, so before I actually change him, let's take a look at the articulation. We got your standard T spreads. Got the double jointed knee. That goes all the way back. That is crazy amount of articulation in the feet no real ankle pivot no toe hinge i'll take the shirt off real quick Let's see here and usually the best way to do this is to put the arms back and tug actually let's pull the arm off too Head's kind of loose again. And that's the other thing. They need to do a better job to put the pegs. Because again, that head was a little loose. All right. So we got some arm movement here. Double jointed elbow here. here pop this head back on left right up down 
He looks a little he looks a little weird without his shirt on, but again, we'll work with it. We'll just get him in a chic eye real quick. So you guys can check that out. That is a simple matter of putting the arms back. Like so. All right, have a little bit of movie magic. I am back with the Shikai version of the uh, Inner World Ichigo. And again, it took some small finagling, but essentially what you have to do is pull down his trunks and like tuck the gi in, pull him back up, and then there's a little flap. That may, and again, if you have the other version like I did, you could literally see exactly how to do it. Again, I don't have it perfectly, but it's close enough. So again, you can bring this up and you guys can see your front shot side shot back shot back shot and other side shot all right so overall final thoughts on this is i definitely think this is another winner i do would i do want to see some uh now that we've gotten most of the versions of ichigo out of the way i would like to see uh dyson go in another direction i do know that we saw a uh, preview of Aizen, um, but I want to see them tackle something that would not be as easy to do. Maybe like a uh, Espada, you know, Grimjow, my favorite Espada. Uh, maybe do Kenpachi, you know, Toshiro, something that doesn't necessarily fit this standard body frame to kind of show what they can really do with this line. Again, I, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I love the detail. I love the accessories. Again, there are small, minor gripes. Again, I wish that the gi itself for the Bankai version on the uh, regular Ichigo version was red. I would love to see a longer version that actually touches the ground. And this is actually, uh, um, has bendy wire in it. So you can kind of get it to flare like you do and you see in the anime. Again, uh, I would love to see a Bankai from Ichigo that is long. Again, I want to see the longer version of Ichigo's Bankai because, again, we all know his Bankai is much longer than what is being represented with this one. Again, it looks great. It's just not show accurate. But, again, this is kind of cool that I can kind of show this version of Ichigo with both his swords. So definitely worth a purchase. I got mine from 5K Toys. They always holding me down with the fast shipping so I can get this review out to you guys. So uh, definitely check them out on Instagram, 5K Toys. Hope you'll be able to do some business with them in the future. <laughs> All right, but I love it. This is Sean of the King, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.